The second that you stop getting in your own way and you're kind to yourself and you're graceful with yourself, it's crazy to see how you blossom and what you can find out about yourself. Burst of energy? <laughs> That's not my to-do list. Good morning, you guys. It's currently 5.30. And as you can tell from the title of today's video, we are waking up at 5 a.m. Well, we already did. And that's ultimately so that we can be productive, you know? I'm a very big morning person, but not 5 a.m. morning. So I wanted to give it a try, you know? I feel like I'm moving in slow motion this morning. This lighting is absolutely atrocious, but it is 5.40 and I do want to go to the gym very, very soon. But there's one thing that I wanted to share with you guys that I've kind of been doing in the mornings, not at 5 a.m. lately because I don't wake up at 5 a.m. There's this podcast and it's super, super quick. I'll have a link down below, but basically it's like daily motivation and normally the episodes are only like 9, 10 minutes. So I just sit here in the morning, normally drink my water and listen to this daily motivation. They post it like a few times a week, so it's like a pretty good resource. This is what it is. The weekly motivation. I'll have it linked down below if you guys want to try it. They posted one literally yesterday, and it's only 10 minutes. I'm gonna sip on my water, listen to it. It kind of prepares me for the day, it gets me excited and motivated. Not only that, but it helps with my discipline because I've been seeing this a lot recently, but it doesn't really matter on your motivation. It's depending on your discipline. Like you have to force your discipline over motivation because that's just how it works. So if you have strong discipline, you're gonna be able to do it. You're gonna like push yourself to do it. But if you're basing it off motivation, like that's not a hundred percent you know because if you don't have good discipline the motivation just isn't gonna follow anyways we're gonna listen to this we're gonna go to the gym very early i've never been to the gym that early we're just gonna see how it goes you guys that was such a good one i can't even hear myself these headphones are bomb. I'm telling you guys, you guys need a pair of Air Maxes. My fridge is so extremely loud right now, so we're just a hashtag not gonna talk about it. We need pre-workout and we need to get all of our to go to the gym, which I wanted to show you guys. My mom ordered this new pre-workout and I've tried it for the past like week and I absolutely love it. It's the Cut Thermogenic Pre-Workout in Strawberry Lemonade. So this is the pre-workout that I'm gonna be taking. Normally you guys know I love my Amino Cuts, but we're trying this and best part is it's literally pink. It's just perfect. So we're gonna take some pre-workout and then we're gonna go because literally it's like 6 a.m. and I wanted to leave my house before that. So we're behind schedule, but you know, that's okay. We're still up way earlier than I would have been. And I'm still so much uh, more ahead than I would have been, you know? We're not beating ourselves up yet. little gym outfit before we go you guys basically already saw it but i gotta show you again this sweater is from tna i love this sweater i've had it for years and it's like one of my favorite sweaters that i own so that's my sweaters from these are lulu they have like a little bit of like pattern on them but they're just black and then socks are long nike socks i never do this with my socks so this is like a first for me but 
it's kind of cute we love and then underneath i just have a regular black sports bra i don't remember what brand it's from because it is my mom's and i stole it but if i know it i'll put it up on the screen that's the gym outfit today yay Lighting is terrible. 15 Pro Max, what is this? Anyways, my neighbor's car is going off at six in the morning. My hands are starting to get itchy and tingly. We need to go now. The pre-workout is kicking in. I'm gonna jam to my playlist. If you guys need workout motivation and the best playlist ever when you're working out and stuff, not f***ing around, that's a playlist for you. So we're gonna get hype, we're gonna go, we're gonna have a good workout. Now I'm gonna go in the hot yoga studio and do abs and just kind of like some yoga. I don't know. We're gonna see how it goes, but I wanna go in the hot yoga studio because I'm feeling so blah. My sister currently has a flu. So that basically means that our whole house could possibly get the flu. And this morning I was feeling it and I got so nervous, but we're doing okay. So let's hope I don't get the flu. gym for like probably 30 minutes it's now like 8 30 but honestly i do not feel good at all and i really hope i'm not getting sick but anyways we are gonna do a little body shower really quickly because i feel sweaty and gross so i'm just gonna put my hair up i'm not gonna wash my hair today and then after my shower i want to show you guys my new skincare routine that i've been doing like i've been doing it pretty regularly and i'm loving the product so i want to share them with you guys because i always told you guys like i didn't have a skincare routine i didn't do anything for my skin but now i do so i want to give you a skincare routine so i'm gonna shower really quickly it's literally 8 30 and i've already worked out already drank lots of water i already finished like one and a half of these i'm feeling good i mean i'm tired but like me being productive has made it like so worth it you know I don't know what it is, but showers make everything better. Like I already feel like 10 times better now that I've showered. Still not feeling the greatest, but anyways, this is the tattoo update. I love them so much. They're healing like so well, if you guys care, but <laughs> I love them so much. And like the healing process hasn't been bad at all. I'm in love with them. Anyways, wanted to give you guys a quick update on my tattoos before I put on my robe so we can get into the skincare because I genuinely am not kidding when these products have changed my mind about skincare. Like before I was like, it just kind of makes me break out. Like everything I would try, it's like my skin got tired of those products and then my skin just went back to how it was before I even was using any products, you know? So I don't know, it's weird, but I haven't seen that from these products and I've been trying them for almost a month. I feel like this has just become the iconic robe. I love this robe and it's pink. Like, come on. It's currently 8.45. So the main skincare I've been using is by VT Cosmetics. They actually kindly sent me these products specifically to try this one, but it was kind of like a whole bundle set where this is like the Riedel shot. And this is literally promoted as microneedling in a bottle, basically. Like the closest you can get without actually having to go, which is absolutely insane and like kind of cool if you ask me. And then this is their Riedel shot Vita Light Cream. So it's just like a moisturizer or whatever. It smells so good. These are the main two products that I use. And then I also just use like another cleanser that I already had. This is the one I've been using. It's the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle. I don't know. I don't know if it's actually good, but 
I mean, it's been working for my skin and I really like it. Those are like the main products. currently really badly need my lashes done so let's just not mind how bare i look <laughs> after my face is cleansed and dry that's what's recommended with this product is for you to have like a clean face and dry then i'm gonna use the Riedel shot 100 and this kind of has like a tingling sensation to it which when i was doing my research on it before i like attempted to try it i was obviously nervous because i didn't want it to like hurt that bad or break out my skin but it basically just feels like little tiny like needles almost or like another person kind of described it as like your skin's dancing and i feel like that's like a good way to explain it in my opinion but like the sensation isn't bad at all like i thought it was gonna be like painful but it's not and it kind of like helps just remove like all the dead skin which is what i need because my skin is extremely dry so this product has really helped with that like i'll wake up and my skin won't be like peeling and dry and gross anymore which i really really like and it also cleared up one of my breakouts that i had like on this cheek and like a day i was shocked i've also realized that with using this like if i use it on a breakout or something it kind of like tingles a little bit more on those sensitive areas and so i feel like it's kind of cool it feels like it's like really getting into my skin i just love that product a lot and it's non-scented and then after i do that then i'll put on the vital cream which is like the moisturizer after because it's recommended to always use a moisturizer after you use that product because it can like dry out your skin a little bit because it's obviously opening up your pores and like getting all the gross stuff out and so your skin can become dry after so i'm just gonna use their cream and it literally smells like pineapples i don't know what it is but i'm getting like that vacation vibe of it smelling like pineapples and i love this moisturizer so yeah i really really like these products and i highly recommend them to you guys so far of what i've been using and they don't have a code sadly but i'll have the website and like everything linked down below if you guys want to shop the products along with the links to them because i think you guys should definitely check them out and they have so many other products it's literally like korean skincare and i know how popular and like good everyone says that is and lastly normally at night i do this but because it's early and i want to show you guys the product i also put on this lip sleeping mask it actually looks like a dupe of Laneige which after trying it for some time I can say it is a pretty decent dupe for it it literally looks the exact same with the packaging and stuff but it doesn't smell like Laneige and I feel like it kind of is more like oily base instead of more of like a lip gloss if that makes sense I don't know if there's really a difference but that's the best way I can explain it but I still really 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 like this and then it just has like the inside and stuff it looks like I've barely used any of it but you don't need a lot which is so good about these products is like a little bit goes a long way for a lot of them especially like the moisturizer and stuff will be linked down below for you guys to check out and now my skin's feeling so hydrated and smooth and shiny and we're feeling great but i'm in desperate need of some coffee so that's definitely next on our list because it's nine and i haven't had my coffee yet normally i would be having my coffee around this time anyways on like a normal day so it's kind of lining up but i've already accomplished so much more I just made a whole coffee and it wasn't even recording. <sighs> Sorry guys, I just made my coffee. I filmed the process of me making it, but I somehow did not click record. Don't really know how that happened, but anyways. I wanted to tell you guys about the Javi Coffee new flavor that I got sent to me. This is a French vanilla one in their Javi Coffee Concentrate, and I love the new French vanilla flavor. Like, you can really taste it, so. I'll have that link down below along with a code that you guys can use as well because I'm obsessed with Javi Coffee. Like, I used to hate making coffees at home, and now because I have this, like, I don't mind it anymore, you know? Anyways, kind of sad that you guys didn't see me making my coffee, but it's really good i feel energized already <laughs> we're gonna make some food and i'll actually press record this time i won't forget to record me making my food i don't know what i'm in the mood for because it's literally 9 20 and that is so early for me to eat but it doesn't feel that early to me because normally i'll eat around like one or two but if you think about it i've been up for the same amount of hours of when i would eat i'm just eating so much earlier because i've been up so much earlier you know plus after a workout i definitely want to get some food into me especially if i'm chugging down a coffee <laughs>
Also, take in. They have my favorite Celsius's now in Canada. Like, um, hello? I literally opened the fridge because my mom went grocery shopping last night and I went to bed because I knew I was getting up early and she got home late. So when she got home, I didn't even see what she ended up grabbing from the grocery store until literally just now and I saw these. So exciting. I'm gonna have to crack one of those open later for sure. <laughs> Excited. I ended up actually just throwing some grapes on my plate as well to get some fruit in I also ended up adding like a few jalapenos as well because I completely forgot to add jalapenos to my wrap Like how could I possibly forget that this coffee is really good. I made it amazing We're gonna do a wrap taste test because I want to see how good it is with the avocado I normally make an egg wrap, but not with avocado. Cheers I did something that's really good Mmm, so good. My mom also just got grapes yesterday. Grapes are like one of my favorite fruits. Because I'm literally an iPad kid, I need to wash something when I eat. So I'm gonna continue watching Alyssa Howard's new video. She did post one and I was watching it at the gym doing my cardio this morning, but her videos are like 35-ish minutes long, so I didn't get to finish it. So we're gonna watch it right now because she is one of my favorite YouTubers. She is literally my idol. I love her the most. She's like a big inspiration to me. So when Alyssa Howard posts, we drop everything we do and we watch. <laughs> I wanted to take some time to do some reading because I'm gonna give you guys sneak peek. I'm currently in the middle of filming another reading vlog right now of like my mom chooses the books that I read. It's a funny video, but she chose this book for me and this is my current read, Seven X's by Lucy Vine. And I'm literally so close to finishing it. Like I literally have like nothing. So I'm just gonna take some time to read because it's still early. Like I didn't realize like getting up at 5 a.m. Right now it feels like 3 p.m. for me because like that's kind of like how my brain's conditioned a little bit. So it's crazy that it's only like almost 11 now because I took some time to just like go on my phone, watch some YouTube, like kind of have my phone time if that makes sense after I finish eating. But now we're gonna be productive and do some reading for my reading vlog which is another video I'm working on. But yeah, the book's okay so far. Definitely not my favorite, definitely not the worst. This is what we're gonna do and then I have some picking up to do I need to clean my room because my room is a disaster So I want to do some of that but first I'm gonna enjoy my time reading and hopefully I can like almost finish this or finish it Like we'll see how it goes because there's literally like 60 pages left. I want to say that's the current read maturity in this book is insane you guys like you'll see it in the reading vlog my explanations on it and I don't want to say too much because we're literally right at the end of the book but like <laughs> I just don't get it I know it's just a book and it's fictional characters but I'm 18 and the things that these adults are doing it wouldn't even cross my mind to be doing that stuff like you know I don't know I guess our goals in life and motives are very different <laughs> Before I clean up my room, 
I just remembered that I have to prep for a video that I'm filming tomorrow, which is going to be my, like my February TBR. So you're seeing this vlog like a week later because the, my TBR has to go out first, obviously at the beginning of the month. So I need to prep for that to film tomorrow. I just wanted to show you guys like kind of the behind the scenes of how I would prep for the video. So this one specifically, I'm gonna do like my Instagram chooses my February TBR. And I actually got this idea from Sarah Carole absolutely love her she's my favorite booktuber i would say so this idea i got completely from her my sd card's almost full that's lovely how how is it almost full anyways so yeah i'm gonna pull some books for the tbr and then i'm gonna like take photos of them and stuff and you guys will see but make sure you guys are following my instagram so then you guys can participate in things like this i know it's a little late now but for next time make sure you guys are following that plus if you guys want more content from me like behind the scenes like sneak peeks of specific videos and a little bit more content for me daily rather than twice a week here on youtube make sure you guys follow my instagram As the years go by, I realize that I don't want to stay the same. I want to reinvent. You don't have to tell me what to do. Okay, so I just finished taking all the photos of all the books. I'm shutting the door. It's so noisy. Now I'm just gonna have to like edit those, put like the emojis and post everything. So then it has like from now until tomorrow when I actually film the video and then I can like see what ones people actually choose. So I have to put these back. I don't want to, but we have to. And I also need to clean my room. It's been a lot worse, but it's just like some areas that are like messy, messy. Like I have books here from filming my wrap up, brand packages here. This area is not terrible. It just like looks messy because like none of my books are there because they're all on my bed right now. This beanbag always has clothes on it or this chair, like one of the two, but I guess it's the beanbag this time. My desk is a mess. Like this is atrocious and there's still like Christmas stuff, bags full of stuff. Like my coffee is over there too, but like packages that I need to put away because I'm opening these for a week in my life I'm gonna film. So I've just thrown those there. <laughs> and then like everything's just kind of a mess and unorganized and stuff. Like I have books right here, like everywhere. It just either has books or clothes or stuff that just shouldn't be there, you know? So we're gonna go tidy this up really quickly. I also do wanna wash my sheets. Up until the morning, it's pouring At least I hear some type of interaction Not too far from here Raindrops keep pouring You're falling to catch life Speeding to pass time, yeah Gravity won't let you go he won't let you slow, slow down I know how to echo Stop screaming My sounds took days to Come back around Come back around Come back around So far it looks like there's no ground I'm trying to leave on my small town But I set expectations higher than a new PlayStation I could never reach shelves at the top tippy knowing how my feet Started my Rihanna, now I'm swimming to the peak Expectations never listen Fell right through my vision Turned it inside out Upside down 
need to do like a full deep clean in my room like very 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 soon but like for now i picked up a lot of stuff and like kind of arranged stuff around like especially my desk i cleaned up the area here i leave that blanket there because sometimes my dog likes to lay on that blanket or my beanbag she loves the beanbag cleaned up my desk completely just have like my essentials there now and the books are back on my shelf reorganized my book cart a little and then obviously my bed was fine in the morning this blanket i don't even like it on my bed but my dog sleeps with this blanket so normally it's just like scattered <laughs> so i just folded it and then when we go to bed later then i'll pull it out and she can sleep on it again but i'm just happy everything's kind of like put away and together i do need to like clean everything like i need to clean my mirror clean my desk clean my windowsill but i am gonna clean my sheets you're falling to catch life Speed into past time, yeah. Gravity won't let you go, no. Gravity won't let you slow. I'm wearing all black, you can't even tell. These need to go in the wash ASAP. And that's where I think I'm officially gonna outro this video. Even though it's only like 12.40 right now, it's honestly an editing day for me. I do need to get tomorrow's video up and also start editing Sunday's video as well, so. There's not much else going on for me to necessarily vlog for it to be like interesting. It would just kind of be too boring for you guys. So I'm just gonna wait for my sheets to be clean and then edit and read for the rest of the night and film my reading vlog and that's about it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this little 5 a.m. productable day with me. Well, day-ish, I should say. My overall thoughts on this, because obviously I don't wake up at 5 a.m. regularly. This was the first time I've woken up that early in a really, really long time. And honestly, it was really nice. I kept checking the time when I was doing my daily tasks and my morning routine and I couldn't believe it was like only nine o'clock it was only ten o'clock like when I was doing my daily routine I just felt like I had everything done and now I still have my whole day like I cleaned my room I went to the gym I showered I did my skincare I ate I made my coffee and it's only noon like I still have the rest of my day and my evening to myself and to just get work done you know I don't feel as stressed or like I'm running out of time and that's a big thing with me is that whenever I start my days I complete my task but at the end of the day I'm always feeling like I didn't have enough time today to do this this and that you know so I definitely be open to adding this into my routine more regularly like I wouldn't mind if on the weekdays which is normally when I film for me to wake up at 5 a.m. and do my routine just like today and then for the weekends I can sleep in if I want or wake up a little bit later than 5 a.m. you know but yeah I really think that this is beneficial for sure if you want to get more things done and have more of the rest of your day because you can do all these things at night and late at night but in my opinion i just prefer doing it in the morning and during the day i'm more of a day person i've realized so i don't know i highly recommend you guys give this a try or try to come up with a morning routine that's waking up really early i mean it felt amazing for me i've had an amazing day so far that's my overall thoughts on this i definitely want to try maybe doing this for a week and doing like a weekly vlog for you guys so let me know if you guys want me to try like waking up at 5 a.m for a week video i would love to give that a try so let me know if you guys might want that down below but other than than that i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys did please make sure you like comment subscribe all the youtube stuff you guys know how to do don't forget to check my link down in my description for my patreon to join my patreon family i say this to you guys every single video we have so much fun over there the amount of behind the scenes they get to see is outrageous it's like they literally live my life with me because of how much they get to see so don't forget to check that link out so you guys don't miss out on things like that but other than that i really hope you guys are having an amazing wonderful day and i'll see you next time bye Oh my god, these ads. Let's get up. No, well, we're doing the purple lighting, I guess. Lay out workout clothes. It's too early in the morning for that. Even though I look kind of crazy. Look like an Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa behavior right here. I've been going hard. That's not up high enough. Go up more, please. It's so cold. Super good. Super young. But right now, I have no clue. Don't fall. I was like, oh my goodness. My cat's trying to get my dog through the door. <laughs> it's hilarious. I don't know. I don't know what I'm craving. We're just gonna figure it out. Yeah, that looks gross. <laughs> my stomach. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> of course it falls.
muscles. My skin is literally glowing. Can we just talk about that for a second? I have no makeup on. Like, my skin thriving.